All right, good morning to you. Time saver traffic check. Things are pretty light in the southbound right now. Westbound 105 to the northbound 110. We do have an overturned vehicle out there, though, so watch out for that. And as you can see, we're getting some slowing on that 405 in the northbound direction. That is through the Gardena area and uh, as you approach the South Bay curve out there. Northbound 110, that's between C Street and Sepulveda. We have three lanes closed until 6 o'clock this morning. That's due to a construction project. And a live look outside. We are taking a look at the 405, the beautiful 405 of Ventura Boulevard where traffic looks great right now. Of course, as you know, the Ventura, uh, excuse me, the 405 will start to shut down tonight at 7 p.m. Full freeway closure starts at midnight. And of course, we're going to give you all the up to date uh, updates on that coming up in just a bit. But first, we'll send it back to you, Ken Sevilla. That's right, Whitney. We will find out just how bad. And you know, when I think of fair food, I really don't think of frog legs. That really doesn't come to mind. <laughs> Interesting. I'll be uh, curious to see how that goes, Josh. All right, overturned vehicles is the name of the game this morning. We have three of them in three different spots. Westbound 105 to the northbound 110 has middle lanes blocked due to that overturned car out there. Make sure you guys are uh, driving safely and watching your speeds. Another overturned vehicle on the northbound 405 at Centinella, and that has lanes blocked as well. And the westbound 10 just past Bundy, another overturned vehicle there, and that has lanes blocked. And right now we are getting some slowing on that southbound 405 and that is through the Sepulveda Pass. Uh, look at this, the 405 through the San Fernando Valley and the 101 through the San Fernando Valley, both checking in at top speeds, looking fantastic for your commute right now. The eastbound 60 just past Van Buren, though, we do have a disabled big rig and that is actually leaking fuel. So you're going to want to watch out for that. That's causing a big mess out there, but right now uh, not causing any slowing and a live look outside. We are looking at the city of Corona. The 91 at Maple shows a very heavy westbound commute there. Uh, that's uh, uh, possibly what the 405 may look like later as we get closer to these uh, ramps closing down starting at 7 p.m. Full freeway closure starts at midnight. And uh, here's your eastbound commute on the 91 at Maple where it is looking fantastic. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that 405 freeway closure and the rest of your traffic throughout the morning. So right now, I'll send it back to you, Kent Sevilla. We're counting on you, Whitney. Thanks. Bye. And I'm Whitney Drollin. Coming up in Time Saver Traffic, we have some overturned cars out there. We'll let you know where and if it will affect your commute, plus what you can expect for this 405 freeway shutdown. Real busy morning, Whitney. Yes, thank you so much, Kent. Westbound 60 just before Grand. We do have a disabled car there that has one lane blocked and a lot of slowing in that westbound direction right there at that 60 to 10, 10 60 out there in the San Gabriel Valley. All in fantastic shape. It looks like you're getting the bulk of that slowing on that westbound 10 after you cross over that 605. Also, as you can see, westbound 10 just past Bundy, we have one lane blocked there due to a crash, so watch out for that. And we are seeing a lot of slowing out there as well. And the westbound 105 to the northbound 110 two lanes block there due to an overturned vehicle as well. So it's been pretty busy out there on the roadways. Of course, as you know, the 405, it's going to shut down starting tonight. Now, if you're in your car, KNX 1070 will offer continuous coverage of the 405 freeway closure. KNX 1070's Tommy Jackson has been in the loop with Caltrans on the planning of this closure. He joins us now live on the phone with the details on what commuters can expect. Good morning to you, Tommy. Well, good morning for checking in with us. We're going to check in with him again uh, in about an hour, but right now we're going to send it back to Kent and Sabila at the desk. Great to have the resources. Whitney, good job. Thanks, Tommy Jackson. Thanks to you as well. All taste the same. I uh, hope you have fun out there. And you know what? Not going to be fun tonight when the 405 does shut down, but for right now, traffic's not looking too bad in the Southland. We do have a couple things to let you know about. First, the westbound 60 before Grand. We do have a lane block there due to a disabled car. And as you can see, we're getting a lot of slowing there in that westbound direction. So you're going to want to watch out for that because that is definitely causing some problems. Five as you make your way out of Norwalk, though, not causing any problems. Checking in at top speeds as you make your way towards the downtown area. Also not causing any problems on the eastbound 210 to the southbound 2. That's closed until 6 a.m. due to construction project, but as you can see, as indicated by all of that green, we're not really seeing any slowing. And the westbound 105 to the northbound 110, we have an overturned vehicle there. That has two lanes blocked, and as you can see, a slight tap on the brakes in the westbound direction on that 105. And finally, a live look outside showing us our Caltrans camera shot on the northbound 101 at Van Nuys looking like a fantastic commute in both directions right now on the 101. I notice if I back up just enough, you can see my boot from my uh, <laughs> my fractured foot. So I'll try not to do that. Text you, Ken Sabila. It's right, a lovely one, though. Take care. <laughs>